Hey Capricorns, welcome to your reading for October. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. To my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back guys. It's time to be brave. It's October. First half is Libra season where we can often feel judgment or things that was unjust being put right. And the second half of October is where we'll see Scorpio season, transformations, transitions, changes, deaths, rebirths, uh, all that sort of energy. So you could be feeling a little apprehensive at this time and maybe a little alone and afraid or something or of something but it's saying it's time to be brave the changes here will be for a reason ghosts of the past so oh, you're scared of ghosts uh the past returns for a time uh we have just you know been through a lot of retrograde so we revisit the past but i feel like this is a um, physical person because you seem quite shocked here that you know um, this person is there that you almost let your mask slip and show your vulnerability um, you know you take away that regalness and here you are just a normal human <laughs> not superhuman Capricorn count your blessings okay ghosts of the pumpkin patch so it's a time of counting blessings, practicing gratitude. Um, I definitely see like you quite shocked, almost like this person reappearing in front of you and you taking like, I almost can't believe it's you. Um, so we'll see what's going on there. That's card 20, 42 and 1. Okay, so let's see with the tarot cards here what we have for our lovely Capricorns, there you are at the bottom of the deck, my noble savages. Um, so let's see what we have for you guys. Yeah, I'm seeing almost this person catching you off guard, but you know, stand in your power here. She's holding that ace of swords, so stand in your power, in your truth. Um, it's time to be brave, but you know, with the truth, you're not wrong, okay? The past returns for a time knight of cups so it's definitely a person coming to make you this romantic offer uh an offer of commitment as well here ace of pentacles i feel like this ace of pentacles is you have picked yourself up off the floor after this person after this person has left you've been through you know this heartbreak and bravery and stuff and now you're here in the present um and this ghost returns to you when you're on your ace of pentacles you're on your firm foundation you're building yourself up and this person comes with their head almost bowed in shame but offering this cup of love like i'm ready for love i'm ready to be here um the knight of cups is usually afraid of commitment you know, they want all the love and the romance and they're into the, all that fun time. But it comes with the Ace of Pentacles. Let's just see here because I feel almost like it's you with the Ace of Pentacles saying, look, I feel the love between us, but I need this commitment. So I feel like it's you, you know, saying to them, like, it's all or nothing here. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, the hermit turning over here. Um... The hermit is almost watching over what's going on here. This is spiritual guidance. So I definitely feel like you're being guided or shown um, the way here. So even though this person catches you off guard and declares their love for you, I feel like the spiritual work and soul searching you've done gives you that backbone to say, hey, I do love you, but I need this Ace of Pentacles. I need commitment. Yeah, four of wands. I need to, <laughs> let's get married. <laughs> You like you you're the real deal like I'm not playing with anybody anymore uh it's all or nothing um so four of wands so this is that new beginning or if you're in a relationship I would say this is somebody proposing uh four of wands here that's the thing we've got to know what we deserve and stand on that being brave and know that what's meant for us will never pass us by 
If this is a person that you already know or knew because of the shock expression and the ghost returning, um, I definitely feel this person has been thinking about you a lot and thinking about this offer of commitment and what it means to them and their life and um, the love for you here with this Knight of Cups seems to be propelling them forward. So that's what they're being driven by, love. And love is the highest energy of all. Uh, that, yeah, that we are, you know, here, we are a spirit here to get closer to the vibration of love. Um, there has been challenges though, but nothing that you can't overcome. But I see this, I'm sorry. You get to see a vulnerable part of them. Um, I guess this is why the hermit is shining the light on them. They are going to let you know their true feelings here. Whether they're new or old or somebody you're already in a relationship with, they're going to let you know their feelings, that they have always felt this love and this pull towards you here. And you are standing firm with come correct or don't come at all. You know, and that's what I love about my noble savages. Um, you are brave more than you know, I think, because you might, everybody else might see you as brave and, you know, fearless, but you might see yourself as scared and vulnerable um, when it comes to love. But I don't think so. I think you have more power than you actually realize here. I see a new home for some, um, a new job for some here, some uh, might be having a baby or, uh, you know, reconciling with a child of theirs, maybe a grown child here, um, you know, coming back and saying, I'm sorry, and things like that, or a child has to leave home to go to school or their own new house. And, you know, it might scare you, but allow them to be brave and go out into the world and find their own spiritual path here. The love between you won't change. You know, it'll grow, it'll blossom. Um, but in regards to a romantic person, this person, I feel, is serious. This Princess of Cups, um, they want to wear their heart on their sleeve. So they're sorry or they want to confess their love. Let's see what's going on here. Two of Pentacles, or oh, maybe both. <laughs> Maybe both. Um, but yeah, this is a, something that they've been weighing up for a long time. Okay. Um, I feel like they've never been too far away from you. The distance could have felt great because of the earthly energy. So it can feel cold. Um, but I feel like they've been weighing up their options. And they're coming to a very firm decision here. Do I offer that commitment here? That Ace of Pentacles. I'm going round in circles with my feelings, with myself. We see the stormy sea behind in this Two of Pentacles. Um, so their emotions have been overwhelming to them. And this is what I said was propelling them forward into making this decision. They know they can't come the way they did before. So they have to come with the Ace of Pentacles, right? And we see the Ace of Pentacles here. So they're on their way towards you here. You give it, I think like, you're starting to understand it. you need more than love to keep a relationship going. Um, you need commitment to, you know, a goal to always be together, to always work on the relationship, to always, you know, not walk away, not ghost and disappear on somebody, not let them down and things like that. And I feel like this with this Two of Pentacles, it's also signing a contract. There's a lot here that su suggests a marriage. This is signing a contract. This is... Um, this always looks like a marriage card, this Four of Wands in this deck to me. Um, some of you could be uh, signing a contract for a home and redecorating with that Four of Wands um, and putting the love into the home, making a family, you know, having a child and things like that, uh, building a home that way. Let's see. Six of Cups. Okay, so this is a soulmate returning into your life or a very special soulmate coming into your life here. Um, 
could be a water sign it could be uh, a Scorpio here with this energy but we have Virgos um, Pisces so I definitely feel this person is very interested in committing to you and I feel like it's no longer that wave of emotion they come into some sort of stability or you're coming to some sort of stability where you're no longer craving them the way they used to you're allowing things to fall into place which is why it's falling into place um so the six of cups this is a very special soulmate a very special soul tie to you um that wants this beginning with you that wants to confess their love um i see the shock on your face so this is something you're not expecting um, but I feel like you're determined that, you know, it has to be correct. Um, the hermit, the, the spiritual work that you've done, the spiritual guidance that you've had will help you in this. Okay, sorry about how loud it banged there. <laughs> Two of Wands. Um, so I feel like it's decision time for them. So it's a time where they're going to... They have to act. It's like act now or forever hold your peace and then a new soulmate would come into your life if it was somebody from the past. If it's uh, a new soulmate coming in, this decision would be yours. Do you accept, um, you know, the terms and conditions of this soulmate connection? Um, I wish I would have read my terms and conditions of soulmate connections before signing them. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is uh, you deciding then. Um, and then once the decision's been made, taking action as it's wants, you're at this crossroads now where it's either time to move forward into a new soulmate connection or move forward with your life, uh, maybe in a new job or with children into a new home. But there is a contract to sign, there's decisions to be made and there is this um, new beginning coming into your life i feel and a new start a fresh start so even if you are in a relationship there's this fresh start this moment in time where you get this um well what did we say at the beginning it's libra season so we get the apologies somebody trying to make it right and fair and just and then the second half we get this rebirth right so after our ending comes a rebirth with scorpio season we get the change that we require five of cups this is somebody who misses you every single day. So there's somebody who is this ghost here that is coming maybe from your past or, you know, somebody who could have even transitioned. They miss you every single day here. Um, this is saying that they still feel very connected to you. I do see the three cups that are knocked over here, so it could have been a third party, but here I'm more drawn here and they're more focused on the soulmate connection between you. It will land on the six of cups here. So this is saying, you know, I still feel connected to you. I, I always think about you. Um, I, I feel this person is nearby. We see here the hermit and in this card here, the hermit there too, guiding this connection. Um, towards this new beginning but this longing for each other has never gone away so I feel like they make a decision to come forward here with that two of wands so let's see let's take them both there what they want to say is they're ready for love they're ready for love could be a water sign here um, mistreated you um, maybe in a third party situation you learn a lesson through the loss of this kind of intense soulmate connection in order to get you onto your spiritual path here and bring these new beginnings into your life but this person is now ready for love mm, but there's a challenge here and an obstacle maybe some people will no longer trust this person's words because this is the five of swords so it's about speech and somebody who might argue just to get their point across rather than listen to understand somebody else active listening right so i feel like some of you might be a little bit angry why they was held back why they didn't come sooner um that would be because indecision held them back here that's under their feet so they're trying to put that behind them 
Um, some of you might feel like you was the only one hurt in this situation, but they will communicate that they were heartbroken too. They just didn't um, communicate it. And we see the fives bringing change and challenges. Um, so the change will come. It will be a challenge. Um, there will be even misunderstandings, I feel, especially if this has already happened, because like I said, we've got a lot of planets in retrograde. Mercury has just gone direct, but we'll still be in the shadow of it. So, <clears throat> yeah, don't allow misunderstandings to stop you from something if you really want it. Okay, guys, um, this person never stopped loving you, never stopped thinking about you. Every single day they were, you were always there in the back of their mind. I witness the darkness and I call on the light with my prayer. Thank you universe for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Um, so what they feared, they've now learned that this is light. So they've feared this love and this connection, this overwhelming feeling, and now they've been brought to the light after going through the dark night of the soul. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. So a lot of the times, let's just say you put a random comment on YouTube and somebody starts swearing at you and starts arguing with you and you're like, I don't know them. You've triggered something in that person that's not unhealed. A healer helps people to trigger those feelings. So, you know... I often get it in my position that people feel that it's an attack. Um, but when you feel those triggered energies, give yourself permission to feel what it is you're really feeling. So let's just say you were triggered by me saying your ex is coming back. Right. And some people will be triggered by the complete opposite. Um, but see what lives beneath there look with the hermit and you'll get to this stage of change of commitment of what you want through prayer and medita meditation i create a ripple effect of peace in the world so by really um praying going within you'll bring yourself peace okay Witness the darkness. Whatever you feel like is you fear, witness it. The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot here about being fearless and taking that leap of faith and uh, things like that. So if some of you, if you get a message and you're triggered to uh, maybe say some hurtful words to that person, don't. Give yourself permission to feel before replying um, and witness the darkness here. It will lead you to the light. Good luck, guys.